Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, always nice to see our next guest. And today we are uh, talking about something serious, but doing something a little bit fun. Absolutely, Dr. Jennifer Gardy is, well, she's she's a doctor and she talks to us and we like that. She's uh, from the Genome Research Laboratory at BC Centre for Disease Control and we're going to be chatting about what today? Tuberculosis. Okay, now tuberculosis to a lot of people, uh, and I include myself wholeheartedly in that, seems like a disease of the past. Yesterday's problem. I know everybody's got, you know, a grandparent that had TB or a yeah. great grandparent, but no, TB is still around. It's a huge problem in the developing world, about a third of the people on this planet are infected with tuberculosis. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis is a lung disease. It can manifest in other parts of the body, but it's mostly a lung disease and it's a bacterial infection. So the bacteria gets in, causes you to cough, and when you cough, you can spread it to others. Uh, <laughs> is there? It's so creepy when so someone knows what they're doing. It's one of those things like <laughs> polio that you can get a vaccine for. Yeah. Is it one of those things that's just contagious and there's nothing we can do about it? There is a vaccine, but it doesn't work particularly well. It's, awesome. <laughs> it's very efficacy. So really uh, our best strategy to get rid of TB is just stop TB transmission, period. And in places like Canada, this isn't terribly hard to do. We've had declining TB rates for the last several decades. But in places like Africa or in Southeast Asia, India and China, for example, where you've got a lot of tuberculosis, it's actually kind of hard to get a, a good grip on it. And as yeah. we like to say at BCCDC, with globalization, TB anywhere is TB everywhere. Uh Oh, interesting. Well, and I know I've, I've heard some stories downtown east side, mm -hmm. uh, some of our Aboriginal communities mm -hmm. as well still really struggle with tuberculosis. Yep, that's true. Any sort of marginalized or vulnerable population, uh, TB can get in and spread like nobody's business. Okay, uh, what is the pathology? What actually happens when you have TB and, and what are the effects on the body? Cause I think we've all got that image of sort of the big iron lung and, and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so what happens with tuberculosis? When you're first infected, the TB bacteria will make its way into your lung and in most people, your immune system will do a really good job of kind of walling it off, and you might never actually get sick. You could die and not know that you will ever be infected with the TB bacteria. You could live to 100, yeah. never know that you had it. But in about 5 to 10 percent of people, the TB bacteria will actually cause active disease, and generally it manifests as a pulmonary disease, so you cough a lot. Yeah. So if you've had a cough for longer than two or three weeks, you're uh, losing weight, maybe night sweats or mm -hmm. fevers. Those are all common symptoms. Go to the doctor. Of okay. TB. Get it checked Go out. to the doctor. Okay, yeah. we have a, it wouldn't be a segment with you without a, a little, little experiment. experiment. Now, what are we doing today? We are going to measure your lung capacity and you're going to be our healthy adult and we're going to have Mike impersonate somebody with limited lung capacity, okay. as you might see with tuberculosis. Okay. So we're doing a really simple water displacement experiment. Okay. You can do this with your kids. It's dead easy. And in honor of contagious diseases, we're going to be sharing a straw. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, but you get to go first. As so long as I get to go first, he I gets care. the cooties. So and what we am know I doing he here? eats off the I'm floor. I'm scared to ask. I don't, I don't always eat off the floor. I eat off the Only floor when it drops. for you. That's it. I know this. You can drink this experiment. So what we're going to do? I've got a tub here where I filled it with a little bit of water, about an inch, inch and a half. I've got a soda bottle that I filled with water too. So we've got some plastic tubing, and what I'm going to do is I'll get you to hold the end of the tube, okay. and I'm going to flip I'm an this assistant. over. Can you do do this as a contest with your friends too to see you who has the best lung totally capacity. Totally do this. Uh oh, what's uh -oh. happening? There we go. There we go. We're equalizing. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is take a big breath and then blow in and see how Just much. Put your lips together and blow. <laughs> see how much of the water you can displace with your healthy. I'm supposed to be Fiona healthy. Forbes lung. I'm scared. You go to the gym. So I just blow. You can do it, Jim. <laughs> Go Farms! All the way! All the way! Oh, yes! Woo! Oh my god, and then she passed out. <laughs> so, so I guess we could be polite and turn the tube around so we don't have to share cooties. That oh, is true. What? But where's oh, the fun in loss? that? Yeah, yeah. It's right. peppermint flavor. I'll get a volunteer to hold this while I refill it so it doesn't A volunteer? Hmm. Yes. Can we ask for a volunteer, please? <laughs> Look at this. This is also the steady hand test as well. Yeah. Okay. This is called Is this what you science. do in the lab? You know what? I just type on a computer all day. <laughs> you That's lab the, rats. You're such a party animal. Science in action. 
I go to meetings and I type on the so computer. So while we're pouring, Data tell input. us about TB Day, which is there, happening in the Why don't I pour oh, and you can talk? Thank yeah. you. That's You're so welcome. sweet. I should have uh, done this sooner. Yeah, so World TB Day uh, happens every year, and it's to commemorate the day that the tuberculous bacillus, the bacteria that causes TB, oh, was oh, discovered by, uh, by Robert Koch in the 1800s. So it was something that was started at TB Day in 1982, mm -hmm. uh, basically as a way of raising awareness of the global importance of right. TB around the world. Okay. And you can cough, you can have a cake, you can attend you can public cough. lectures, Make sure you, you wash can your mark it in now, whatever day you want. Tell us what Mike's going to be doing uh, to illustrate with someone with weak lungs. Yep, Mike is going to give a sad, pathetic little blow into the tube. Again? <laughs> a sad, pathetic little blow. Sad, wow. sad blow. That okay, sort of I'm gonna, sums up my entire uh, doctor, life. Doctor? You take Wait. the end of this, okay. and I will invert our test lung. There we go. Blow, Eckford, blow, in a sad fashion. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Sadder. <laughs> a little cough. There we go. So in people <sighs> with tuberculosis, along with a bunch of other diseases for that matter. Let me um, hold this for you as well. <laughs> God, I'll just do well, your whole job. Well, I guess people who've had, because I've had bronchitis before, mm -hmm. and you can't take in a full deep breath or exhale properly. Exactly. Anything like that would probably yep. be the same thing. You yep. guys may have talked about this because I was concentrating so hard on pouring water into this that I can't do things. But uh, is it a blood test or something that you usually get? I mean, to determine well, whether it is TB to versus... To see if you've been exposed to tuberculosis, we do something called the TST, the tuberculin skin test. It's very simple, you have a little bit of TB protein injected onto your arm, and then you look to see the next day if there's a dot, sort of like a mosquito bite or right. a puffy okay. bit. So that can tell us whether you've actually been infected at some point with the TB bacteria. To determine if you've got active disease, there's a number of different tests we can do. There is a blood test, uh, we do chest x-rays, we get you to cough, and we take that Ew, cough don't material. Say Sputum. We call it sputum <laughs> in science. Uh, so yeah, we can, uh, proud you are the <laughs> We call it sputum in science. Well, Isn't it grand? I guess when in doubt, just go to your doctor uh, if you're not feeling well. And if for more information on World TV Day, it's happening this Thursday at UBC to raise awareness. You can go to the website to find out all the information. StopTB.org. We're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we're going to. I'm glad we weren't doing the blowing experiment with Patrick Maliha.